Hey everybody, and this video is a summary of the uh, profit map and what it ends up looking like after you've gone through each one of these individual unit sizes and all the different areas, right? So I taught you the process and I told you that you need to take that process and do it into as many of the different areas as you can possibly uh, do to determine if those areas were good or bad, right? Um, and this is generally what my sheet will end up looking like. Uh, by the end, I've kind of I like to color code things because it makes it really easy to jump back in when the time comes. Uh, and as you can see, there's uh, quite a few areas that I've highlighted green, uh, as in go. Like those are my those are my areas that I want to uh, I feel confident in. I like the numbers that I'm seeing, and I've done a uh, an initial report in as well. Okay, uh, the ones that are green are like they're they're kind of they're sort of good. They're not 100% great, but uh, it's useful data that I can pull to combine with the main data that I'm using. The yellow is is very iffy. It's like I can go ahead with it in those areas if I really need to, uh, but I don't want to make them my prior, uh, priority locations, right? Uh, now, I'm, I did mark this one red because I knew it was bad data and I went through it, but for the most part, you can just leave them blank, and that's a really good indication to not go into them or don't worry about it. So as you can see, what ends up happening is I have a handful of these different locations that I feel good about. I, feel, I like the data that I'm seeing, and I, I, I can move forward into them. Uh, you'll notice here with the higher unit sizes, it kind of goes across all the different uh, bedroom sizes. And that's because I'm going to combine the, you know, this data and I'm going to combine this data and I'm going to use these two different data points to bounce off each other to confirm if one is actually doing better than the other uh, as I go through it. So all these locations that you're seeing are the ones that I have determined that I'm going to move forward into. And what you'll notice is that majority of this sheet is left blank because the majority of areas don't do better as an Airbnb. Um, majority of places do better as a short as a long term rental, right? And not a short term rental. And so your map should look very similar to this when you get when you complete it, that you're only going to have a handful of unit sizes and locations that are actually going to be good locations that will be more profitable as a short term rental. Um, and now from here, what we want to do is use the knowledge that we have for all these different locations with the, you know, each one of the tabs down here that looks similar to the tab that we went through uh, to determine what the actual annual revenue is gonna be. And then from here, what you're gonna do is using this information, start to use it to make sales. Start to actually uh, take it and identifying the locations and trying to uh, get those property management contracts or rental arbitrage contracts or starting to purchase homes. And so the rest of this, the next section we're gonna be jumping into is actually going through that. So. Uh, how to use this information to make sales. Okay. So I'm really excited about that because it's going to be, you know, this is, this is great. This stuff here is great knowing all this information, but you got to take action. Right. And so the next part is how do we take action on all of this data? And I, and I can't wait to show you how I've been able to use the data to do that. And I think you're going to be really excited about it as well. So let's get into it. 